they attach it, they'll be all over the place. There's organized. So I'm really not surprised because how do you prove to all of us that the second lady was using the military helicopter? Do you have proof? You just don't make that statement. The last time I checked, the second lady was also traveling in a bus, branded bus, Baumia bus. That's what she used. The last time I checked, the um, Dr. Baumia has his bus, which is used for a whole year. I am part of that team, and he's always in the bus when we travel. When he says he's going for his campaigns, he travels in the bus for his campaigns. He hasn't used, the, the only time you see him using a V8 is areas where definitely the bus cannot go. That one, you see him in, in a V8. Apart from that, for the past one, almost one year, three, four months, is the bus that he's been using for his campaign. So when you sit here and you attack the second lady without any evidence that she's using the he uh, military helicopter, and because she's using the helicopter, a military man had an accident and couldn't be airlifted. I think you should ask her to prove it. Otherwise, she's just tarnishing the, 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 the image of the second lady. The second lady is working very hard. I would want us to go back to history. I come from the Bunu region, in the Bunu East region. Bunu East. Bunu and Bunu East. Let's put them together. You know, they were, they were, yes, they were divided, region, so the Bunu yeah. have full region. And if I, my memory serves me right, 2012, 2016 elections, we had billboards of former President Mahama in my region without his vice, uh, um, the late Mr. Atta. The billboards had him and his wife, Madame Lordina Mahama. I had been at funerals, one in Soko, one in Time, one in Wenchi, where the former First Lady arrived there in a heli uh, military helicopter. There's nothing wrong with it. If she has to do an official duty, and uh, that is the, the means to get her there, there's nothing wrong with it. So I would not, uh, until there's proof, and even if the, the second lady did take the military helicopter, there's nothing wrong with it. That is part of the parcel of their jobs. And I don't think we should set them up for attacks. Mm -hmm. Now about the military man who, is it the action I say? Okay, uh, the, uh, uh, as we were talking, uh, you left Lieutenant Kenel Kujo, yes. the jungle warfare based on I, our I did chance. hear him. Mm -hmm. And I honestly do not think that he meant any evil. He was just giving us appropriate warning. What he said, if I listened to the audio, audio or, video. or the video, mm -hmm. if I saw it well, he said when you vote on 7 December, go out, go and vote, go to your house. When it's time for the counting and coalition, and he wants, you can come back. You can come back. The police will direct you on where to stand. And when you come, stand there, observe what is going on. If you win, you clap, you go home. If you don't win, you go home because, I mean, that's, that's an election. And that if you come and you misbehave and the police call them, then he added the rest to it. And I think it's fair warning. As a leading politician, would you say that For he me, misspoke or he didn't? I don't think he misspoke. He's a military man. They have, we have had incidences where people misbehave, the military are called in, they react, and then we end up blaming them. So we should also behave. Every single member of this society should behave. If you decide that you are going to misbehave at the polling station, you want to go and carry ballot boxes, you want to go and disrupt the election, of course, you will get a reply. The military, the police, everybody is telling you that they will not allow you to misbehave. So why are we up in arms about that? Or we intend to misbehave? If you are like me and you do not intend to misbehave, you really don't care about the warning. So those who are up in arms about this, maybe they have plans to misbehave. That is why they are, they are so You're bothered. You're saying those who are raising qualms about this are I those who any... intend to maybe. foment trouble? Maybe. Otherwise, if you don't intend to foment trouble, I don't see why you should be bothered about what... A jungle warfare commander, commander in Achiase is saying, I vote in Wenchi in the Bunu region. I don't intend to go and misbehave. So what the um, commander has said in Achiase, I'll take it in good faith and i move on. The trust for the institutions of state that need to keep the security, knowing that we have, we've had a recent history, the Ayahuasca West war gone, the death in the last election, and making sure that um, we just are able to trust them 
to keep that peace for us pre, during, and after the election period? This is our eighth or ninth election from, from 1992. I think this is our eighth or ninth, one of them, our election. We're going for the ninth one. The I ninth think. one. Mm. We've had issues before. Every election, we do have issues, different kinds, different levels of issues. Ghana didn't bend. I do not think that after going through this experience for nine times, this is the time that we are going to bend. We'll go for this election. The winner will be declared, and that winner, hopefully, will be Dr. Baumia. Ghana will move on. So, I mean, this business about not trusting the, the, the institutions, these are the institutions we've worked with. And as it is, the modus operandi of the opposition in NDC, when it's getting to elections and they know that they, they are losing or they have lost in advance, then they start at attacking everybody, all the institutions of state. That is how they are. We have seen them before. They will not get systems ready to count their, their votes, no. They will not get things done, no. They would rather go attacking institutions. They started off with attacking EC. All manner of stories. It didn't pan out. Then they jumped on the, the, uh, the police. It didn't pan out. Then they jumped, uh, they jumped on the military. Tw uh, 2020, if I remember, there are comms, uh, is it, they, we call it director, there are comms officer national, was there threatening police and uh, military that when they come into power, they will sack them. That is how they are. So for us, I mean, <laughs> we are not bothered. We have trust in the police to do their work. Governments have changed hands. Nothing happened. Parties were in power. They lost. Nothing happened. In 2008, the MPP lost by a very slim margin. Ghana didn't bend. In 2016, the NDC lost by a wide margin. Ghana didn't bend. In 2024, the MPP will win by a wide margin. Ghana will not bend. So as for this perception of trust and things, 16 days to elections, I think we have gone through this enough. The police will do their job. The EC will do their job. The political parties should also go do their jobs and make sure that we go through this and go through it well. Then before I, 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 I get it, I find it quite funny that people are up in arms about President Kufo endorsing Dr. Baumia. The last time I checked, President Kufo was one of the founding members of the MPP. President Kufo hasn't told any of us that he has left the MPP. He is still an MPP member. And I'm, I'm sure he's going to be an MPP member for the rest of his life. So if an MPP member, a former president, decides to endorse the candidature of his party member, why are we up in arms about it? Were we expecting President Kufo to go and endorse John Mahama or Alan Chiamantin or Madame from CPP? I mean, my name. I know you, your, your, your flag bearer. She's a woman. I, I just don't get her. I, I've forgotten her name. That's why I said. What's her name? Frimpoma. Frimpoma. Madam Frimpoma from CPP or any of the other candidates. That would be totally out of character and that would not be a statesman like... Uh, we all know who President Kufo is. We all know where he started from. And we all know that he's a former president and he became president through the MPP. So what is wrong if he endorses Dr. Baumia? As I said, when the, uh, the, you know you are losing an election and you are trying hard to grab some straws, Tassi Tassi has caught you. This is what you do. Uh, people should leave President Kofu alone. He has the right to endorse who he wants. I keep on telling the NDC, if they had treated, perhaps if they had treated their former leaders well, I'm not God, but maybe one of them would have been around to also help endorse them. <laughs> when you call your, your, your founder, the whole person who founded your party, you call him a backing dog and that you have caged him. And now the man is gone. And now you have luck of leaders in your party, then you are jealous of somebody's leader. You are jealous of, <laughs> you are, I'm not using death to insult anybody. I said, when you people were speaking, I was quiet. I said, if the NDC had treated perhaps their leaders well, and I gave a case in example, if they had treated former president. This one, it's Alan who raised the issue. Uh, it's not Alan. The NDC went at him. They insulted president. Well, you've forgotten that two of their people went, went, went bonkers, insulted the, the, the old man, insulted him with his disability. So you don't have leaders in your party. Your people are gone. And uh, yes, the MPP too have lost people. But perhaps if you, you had treated people well, they would have been there to talk for you. Don't be jealous of us. We are proud of uh, uh, former President Kufo. We are happy he's with the MPP. He's a, founding, he's, a founding, he's a founding member 
of the, M uh, uh, of the MPP, and we are very happy that he's with us. And we thank him for his endorsement of Dr. Baumia because he, he said it. Dr. Baumia is great material, and he will do wonders for Ghana. So please, as for Mr. Alan Chevanting, we are all with you. You decided you don't want us again. You have left. Godspeed. Well done. President Kufo didn't leave with you. President Kufo did not leave the MPP when you left. So what, what is his, his beef? He says that he's a statesman in, so, the, in the category in which he finds himself. So, and that he has a personal affinity not only to him, but also to Dr. Mahmoud Obama. And so in such circumstances. You do not determine what President Kufo does. As I said, he's a lifelong MPP member. He's a, he's a founding father. When you decided to leave, and you were also a founding father, and you decided you didn't want, I think Mr. Chamanti is or was the founding for, uh, father of the MPP. Not was, is. Is. He, he, okay. He's not your past. Well, he's, he is the founding father of the MPP. And you decide along the line that you don't want to go with us again. You don't agree with us. You feel that you've been slighted. All of us have said, okay, bye-bye. What's your problem with the MPP and our members? And what our members decide to endorse? What I said was, when you are losing an election and you are disorganized and you don't know what to do, what you do is that you go on an attacking spree. And that is exactly what they have done. So I repeat it in three. Atase tase, actually. And that is why they are doing what is they are that doing. Is what we are, what we are, what we are saying is that um, in the yes. next 16 days, we are going to she vote. Can't come here to come and speak. Oh. We are we are we are voting for Dr. Mahamadou Baumia because he's the only the opinion. You made the opinion. he's the only but candidate. He's the only candidate who can who can move Ghana forward. And as I said, I repeat again: when you are losing an election, it's a difficult process. So I mean, you have to process it. Dr. Baumia is winning hands down. Um, we've gone all over the country as we speak now. He's doing the final touches in the northern region this morning. Mm. There were some few constituencies he couldn't finish doing his, his turn. He will do that, and I'm sure you'll be in Accra on Sunday to come and finish the little ones, the two, three, four constituencies that are also like. So we are mopping up. And we have so run... what's happening is a mop up. Yes, we are doing campaign. the mop up. Okay. We have run an we have yeah. run an excellent campaign. And Ghanaians have understood what we are saying. And on this uh, on, on the 7th of December, in 16 days' time. Ghanaians are going to vote for Dr. Baumia and continue with all the good works that we have done. And the next one hour, the Ministry of Education to, with the President of, um, and I, I believe the Minister of Education. Is it today they are launching the 80 uh, multiple projects? We are going projects. to launch 80 multiple projects that has been done and, uh, by the Ministry of Education. So I think we should all tune in and listen to it. But we are winning this election and it's obvious.